this video is still on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are in the chapter of orthogonality okay uh, in this video I'm going to to take a couple of um, uh, simple exercises one of them is this one if a vector u and vector v are orthogonal to w u plus v is also orthogonal to w so we have a vector u and that vector is ortho orthogonal to w we have a vector v that vector is also orthogonal to w so we say that u plus v is also orthogonal to w it's very easy to prove that um, so we pick u plus v and we do the dot product with w okay u plus v inner product with w that is u inner product with w plus just a distribution right v in a product with w okay but by hypothesis u is orthogonal to w so this one is zero right plus and by the same token v is also orthogonal to w so this one is zero too okay so that is zero okay and that concludes the proof, right? If a vector is orthogonal to another vector and another vector, V, is orthogonal to the same vector, W, adding two orthogonal vectors, you get uh, a orthogonal vector. Another example is this one. If U is orthogonal to W, then any scalar multiple, k times u, where k is the, uh, the scalar, is also orthogonal to w. And this is really easy to, to prove to. Because you, you just take ku, right, this one that you want to prove that is orthogonal to w, and you take the inner product with w. Okay, but this is the same as uh, you can associate those two, right? U inner W, right? Okay, but uh, U is orthogonal to W, so U times V is zero, so this is K times zero, so this is zero, right? So if U is orthogonal to W, any scalar multiple, KU, is also orthogonal to W. Okay, just uh, a quick couple of examples just to remind this uh, concept of uh, orthogonality. We pick vectors U1, so U1 will be vector 1 minus 2, 3. U2, where U2 will be vectors 1, 2, 1, this is 2 okay sorry and u3 and that will be vector minus 8 2 and 4 and um, to check if they are orthogonal you do you simply uh, compute so u1 times u2 and check if u1 is orthogonal to u2 so that will be 1 minus 2 3 right times 1 2 1 and that is 1 right uh, minus 4 plus 1 right 1 times 1 this is the inner product minus 2 times 2 minus 4 and 3 oh sorry 3 times 1 I'm sorry um, 3 times 1, 3. 
So 1 minus 4 minus 3 plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so we can say that u1 is orthogonal to u2. Okay, now you do the same with uh, u1 times u3 and you get u1 times u3 minus 8 minus 2 times 2 minus 4 and 3 times 4 that's 12 so you're getting 0 right so u1 is orthogonal to u3 so <coughs> u1 is orthogonal to u2 and u1 is orthogonal to u3 what about u2 u3 well it's more or less obvious right that u2 um, u3 1 times minus 8 minus 8 2 minus 2 2 times 2 sorry 4 and 1 times 4 4 so we are getting 0 okay and this is that sorry u2 is also orthogonal to u3 so the vectors they can be for instance like this okay so this this three vectors they are all orthogonal to each other this one to this one this one to this one and this one to this one okay 